Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek. Now I've spent all of 2019 riding and riding about electric motorcycles, so I wanted to finish out the year by showing you guys my pick for the nine coolest, best, and most innovative electric motorcycles of the year. Let's check them out. Now we're going to run through these nine bikes in no particular order, and we'll start with the Lightning Strike. It was revealed in March of this year and quickly became known as the most affordable electric sport bike out there. At a starting price of $12,998, it offers some serious value, especially considering its specs. We're talking a 67 kilowatt or 90 horsepower liquid-cooled motor in the base model for a top speed of 217 kilometers per hour or 135 miles per hour. The base model comes with a rather small 10 kilowatt hour battery that's enough for between 70 to 100 miles of range, which is around 110 to 160 kilometers. But if you upgrade to the Strike Carbon Edition though, the power will bump up to 90 kilowatts or 120 horsepower, and the battery is doubled to 20 kilowatt hours, with the top speed also increased to around 240 kilometers an hour or 150 miles per hour. And there's also level 3 DC fast charging that comes standard in that version. Not too shabby. Next up is the Harley-Davidson Livewire. Sure, at just shy of $30,000, it seems all anyone wants to talk about on the Livewire is the price. But if you can look past the sticker shock, you'll find an electric motorcycle that can hang with the best of them. It has a 78 kilowatt or 105 horsepower motor, a 15.5 kilowatt hour battery rated for 235 kilometers or 146 miles of city range, and a top speed of 110 miles an hour or 177 kilometers per hour, which I feel like should be fast enough for most riders. I had a blast riding the Livewire here this summer where I got to experience its 0 to 60 mile per hour time of just over 3 seconds. The bike handles great and it has more power than I knew what to do with on this tight and twisty track. Plus, the bike actually packs in a lot of innovation, despite what the keyboard warriors will have you believe. That low slung motor is longitudinally mounted and uses a 90 degree bevel gear that outputs to the final drive pulley, which helps create the Livewire's distinctive motor and transmission sound. So yeah, while it might be pricier than you or I could afford, it's actually a really nice bike that deserves its spot on this list. Next in line we've got the Suron Storm B, which is Suron's upcoming middleweight electric motorcycle. It will be coming in two variants, and I got to check out this dirt bike variant here at EICMA 2019. There will also be a street version though that will supposedly be street legal in the US, so we're excited to see that development as well. The bike tops out at 110 km per hour or 68 miles per hour with its 22.5 kilowatt, 30 horsepower liquid cooled motor. And while we don't know the price yet, Suron has a history of building affordable bikes, and so we hope this one will be no different. Next up is the Revonex. Now the Kimco Revonex lands a spot on this list for its sleek design, manual gearbox, and out of nowhere debut. We were there to see the launch at EICMA 2019, and Kimco definitely broke new ground for itself with the Revonex. Despite being almost entirely a scooter company, they managed to produce a pretty impressive looking electric motorcycle, with a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 3.9 seconds, and a top speed of at least 200 km per hour or 124 miles per hour. There's no price on this one yet, but we expect to learn more when it gets closer to production next year. Now of course the Zero SRF makes the list. It was unveiled in February of this year, and I was proud to be one of the first people to have their butt grace this bike. The SRF is Zero's most powerful electric motorcycle yet, rocking an 80 kilowatt or 107 horsepower motor. Its 14.4 kilowatt hour battery pack didn't increase on the standard size used across Zero's lineup, but it still means the bike can get up to 200 miles of city range with the power tank accessory. While some people have begged for a fully fared version of this naked bike, spy shots have shown what appear to be an SRF with a fairing, so that could be coming soon. Next we've got the Verge TS. You might remember this bike as the RMK E2, but while the company rebranded last month, the iconic look of that hubless rear wheel has remained unchanged. Not only is the rear wheel hubless, but it also hides the 80 kilowatt or 107 horsepower motor in the rim. It puts out a massive 1000 newton meters of torque, 
so this is going to be an awesome one to ride when it's ready next year. And with a range of 300 kilometers or 186 miles in the city, it should be able to go the distance as well. Next up is the Vosges ER10. This bike is based on the Suron White Ghost, and apparently Vosges bought the rights to the design directly from Suron, so they could produce their own middleweight electric motorcycle. Regardless of where it came from, the ER10 should be a great gap filler bike that fits between the higher powered sport bikes and the lower powered mopeds. It has a liquid cooled 14 kilowatt or 18 horsepower motor mounted in the rear swing arm that can get it up to 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers per hour. That should be enough for many casual commuters, even if it won't win many races on the drag strip. And considering it's based on an affordable bike design, we expect the price to be quite reasonable when it's announced next year. The next bike on the list is the Cake Osa. This one is probably best described as a work bike, because it doesn't really fit neatly into any other motorcycle category, and rather kind of straddles a few. Its main advantage is its modularity, and it has over a thousand different combinations of options and accessories. The battery packs can be used as portable power stations for powering tools or running light music shows or any other off-grid needs. The bike comes in a 30 mile an hour or 50 km per hour moped style version, or a 60 mile per hour or 100 km per hour motorcycle version. The price is a bit steep, at between six to $8,000 for the two different versions, but it's definitely an innovative and one of a kind bike, at least for now. Last but not least, we have the Ubco FRX1. Now this is technically an electric bicycle because it has functional pedals, but they're largely vestigial. And the specs are motorcycle level as well, so we're going to give it a pass. The FRX1 has a 15 kilowatt or 20 horsepower motor and can hit a top speed of 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour. But it only weighs in at 52 kilograms or 110 pounds, meaning its power to weight ratio is through the roof. And considering it has both a hand throttle and pedal assist, you can decide how you want to ride it in different scenarios, which is kind of a cool advantage that no other bike on this list has. So that's it for the bikes in 2019, but 2020 should have a whole new crop of interesting product launches and debuts coming. Thanks for watching everyone, we hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you next time.